And former Governor Mitt Romney announced earlier today that, in fact, he is running for president of the United States. And we continue with part two of my interview with the GOP presidential candidate, Mitt Romney. You have to win a Republican primary uh, to get that opportunity to debate President Barack Obama. The one issue that you know keeps coming up is the issue of what they call Romney Care, your he health care bill in Massachusetts. I really want to give you an opportunity today to address the conservatives, the, the Tea Party movement, and explain to them, because that keeps coming up again and again, what happened, what the bill was about, how you differentiate that from Obamacare. I'll give you an example. When you went to Iowa, you know, the Iowa Democratic Party lovingly uh, welcomed you to the state of Iowa, and they said, because you paved the way for health care reform in Massachusetts, we were able to pass the Affordable you know, Care Act, Obamacare. Um, it seems to be their strategy to sort of say that's the exact same thing. But to explain to conservatives that that is their big area of skepticism for you because it's one issue that comes up, in your own words, what do you want to tell them about it? Because it, it, it does not seem to go away. Well, first, let me tell you what I do if I'm president. And that is, if I'm president, I will repeal Obamacare. And in the first day of my administration, I will say to the Secretary of Health and Human Services, I want a waiver for all 50 states from Obamacare. So that's number one. Now, what we did, we, we have a little bill that's 70 pages in length. He has a bill 2,700 pages. By the way, you have so, to pass it to find out what's in it. Yeah, yeah right. And you have to, you have to give the senators right. a lot of benefits, too, but yeah. no, I didn't mean to interrupt. So, so in those extra 2,630 pages, he does a lot of stuff we didn't do. What he does is take over health care. Basically had the federal government manage health care, not just for the uninsured, that's who we were dealing with, but for everybody. And that's one reason why the American people are saying no way for Obamacare. Now, what do we do in our state? Why do, why do we take on this issue? Well, we had a lot of people that were worried if they changed jobs, they'd lose their insurance or didn't have insurance. And we also had some people who were gaming the system, who could afford to care for themselves, but instead were showing up at hospitals expecting government to pay for them. And we said, you know what, we're not going to let that go on any longer. We're going to insist on personal responsibility. We worked with the Heritage Foundation, a great conservative group. We looked at great thinkers, conservative thinkers in the past and said, you know, personal responsibility in health care is the way to go. And we fashioned a plan which met a state need. I would never in a million years take what we did for our state and say, let's impose that on every state in the country. That's wrong. It violates the principle of federalism that's a bedrock principle of our Constitution. Each state should craft their own solutions. But one thing I can tell you, Obamacare is out. And if I get the chance to debate President Obama, I'm looking forward to saying, thank you, Mr. President, for all the compliments you send my way. I know what they're intended to do. But I have one question for you, Mr. President. Why didn't you call me? Why didn't you ask me whether the Massachusetts plan was working or not? What parts didn't work? What things you shouldn't do? Because I know this, Obamacare would bankrupt the nation and Obamacare will severely impact the quality of health care for the American people and it will be repealed. What about the mandate aspect of this? Because the, the constitutionality of it, government mandating health care has been a big issue. In, in the Romney law, the Romney care bill, it was mandated. There was a state mandate. W what is the distinction there considering Republicans are arguing, wait a minute, there's no constitutional authority to put a mandate on people that they must have insurance? The, the federal constitution does not allow for mandates to be provided by the government. State constitutions have mandates of many kinds. We mandate kids go to school. We mandate that if you're going to drive a car, you've got to have insurance. States provide mandates to, uh, w within the rights of their constitution. In our state, we said this. We've got people who are looking at health care like welfare. They can afford to care for themselves, but they don't want to pay for it. And we said, we're not going to let that go on. These free riders are abusing the system. And we're going to insist that they either get insurance or pay their own way. But no more showing up at the hospital and expecting government to pay for them. This is, in my view, a conservative point of view. Mm -hmm. Insist on personal responsibility. Say we are not going to let government grow and grow. We're spending over a billion dollars a year giving out free care to people, many of whom could care for themselves. Mm -hmm. And that's simply wrong. All right, one, one last question on this, if I may. Um, 
do you think the plan, I remember once I was interviewing you and asking you about this very issue and you said to me, I, well, first of all, I signed the plan but it wasn't exactly the plan I wanted. Apparently, you had vetoed aspects of this. Mm -hmm. Did that have a big impact? And if you had to go back today and look at it, would you have done it exactly the same way? Would you have done it differently? Do you think it was a success? In other words, the bill that you passed in uh, Massachusetts. Well, there are a number of things in the bill yeah. that I would have changed at the time, and I continue to think those changes would have been better. And there are things I'd change in it now. You learn from experience. And, and, and so, yeah, a lot of things I'd change. It's not perfect. There are a lot of things in that bill that don't work. But the nice thing about a state solution to a state problem is that it's relatively easy to make changes and improve it. And I can tell you, if I were governor of Massachusetts, the problems people point out, I'd fix. That's it. But I'm not running for governor. I'm running for president of the United States. And that's why it's so important for me to make clear, I will repeal Obamacare. I will grant a waiver to all 50 states immediately upon taking office. And I will go to work to make sure that the American people understand that it is at the state level that we care for those that don't have insurance.